Let's talk a little bit more about the production possibilities frontier. Remember, it's the trade-off that an economy makes between producing two goods, okay? And if you're on the frontier, the efficient frontier, then it's, uh, it tells you the, you know, your menu of options for producing two different kinds of goods if you're using everything efficiently, okay? So in this case, we have food and shelter is the two things we care about, but it doesn't have to be those two. It could be applied to any context or any economy where you care about different goods. Just two by two if you want to draw the graph, but it actually doesn't even have to be uh, two-dimensional. You could do this, uh, it's, you can't draw it, but there exists sort of a dra uh, graph in however many dimensional space you want, okay? But we're not going to do that kind of stuff in this course. The slope of this guy has a special name and we're going to use it a lot, okay? The slope is called the marginal rate of, of transformation. And the intuition here is it's how you transform food into shelter or vice versa. You don't actually do it by some kind of mutation process or whatever. You do it by reallocating the inputs that produce food towards the production of shelter instead. Okay, And that gives us this uh, intuition for what the slope of the MRT might be. Okay, And it turns out this intuition if I spell it out more clearly, is right. The marginal rate of transformation slope is equal to the marginal product of labor for producing shelter divided by the marginal product of labor for producing food. Why is that the case? Imagine you take one worker and you shift them from food production to shelter production. If you do that, the amount of food you give up is the marginal product of that worker, how much food they produce that tells you how much you shift along the x-axis. And remember, slope is rise over run, so we've got our denominator now. How much do you go up when this guy starts working in shelter? Well, you gain in shelter whatever his marginal product of labor is. That's MPLS. And so the amount you go up is the MPLS. Okay. Now, the thing is, you could also make the same argument about capital, right? move one machine over instead of one worker. And that's also fine. The marginal rate of technical substitution is also equal to the ratio of the marginal product of capital in these two things by the exact same argument. But if these are both equal to the slope of the production possibilities frontier, then they must also be equal to each other, right? So. Let's scroll up a little bit here. If we have the MRT is equal to the MPL of shelter divided by the MPL of food, negative sign there, and this is equal to the marginal product of capital for shelter divided by the marginal product of capital for food, and that's because that's also equal to the MRT, then these guys are equal to each other. And it turns out that shouldn't surprise us as much as we might think. Let's multiply both sides by MP, well, let's get these guys out of here and focus on this part in the middle, and multiply each side by MPLF. And let's divide each side by MPKS. Well, this MPLF, those are going to cancel. These MPKSs are going to cancel. And we're going to end up with the marginal product of labor for producing shelter divided by the marginal product of capital for producing shelter, with a negative sign in front of it, is equal to the marginal product of labor for producing food divided by the marginal product of capital for producing food, a negative sign. That's the marginal rate of technical substitution for shelter, right? That's what this thing is equal to. We learned that in the last video. And this guy is equal to the marginal rate of technical substitution for food. And so we're saying that on the if you're operating efficiently, if you're on the production possibilities frontier, the marginal rate of technical substitution for shelter 
is equal to the marginal rate of technical substitution for food. Again, we're back to this criteria for production efficiency.